Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. Welcome to Excel for Absolute Beginners Part 8 VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is a formula that I'm often asked about by people who are new to Excel. They hear about it, uh, it intrigues them, uh, they try to learn it themselves and find that there are some little rules that are involved that uh, need to be observed for the correct use and functioning of VLOOKUP. So what we're going to do is to follow our usual procedure and tick off situations as we learn them. First of all we'll th look at the advantages of VLOOKUP, then we'll look at creating the formulas themselves, why we use the word false in formulas, in VLOOKUP formulas, using dollar signs and why we use them in VLOOKUP formulas, and how to look up multiple columns these two are married together as we shall see and then finally we'll just have a little conclusion so let's start off with the first three we'll talk about the advantages well then we'll create the formula then we'll see why we use false in the formula in this worksheet I have some data some salespeople who sell boats their birthday the area in which they work and their salary. There are some rules that we need to think about. Select then do, the golden rule of all computers. In other words if I want to put something into A1 I select A1 then I do what I want to do. I avoid if possible blank columns or rows not absolutely necessary but um, better to not have blank columns or rows in your data. Then I need to ensure that there is consistent data in the columns. In other words, this column contains dates. It doesn't contain any text. This column contains text. It doesn't contain anything other than text, numbers and the like. Always remember to start your formulas with an equal sign and remember in VLOOKUP to count the number of columns starting from the left as we'll see when we construct our formula. I've numbered these columns for uh, ease of identification 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we'll see how we use the column number counting from the left in our formula. Now down here I want to be able to type in the name of a salesperson and have me for a start show me the boat sales for that particular person. We won't worry at this stage about the birthday, the area or the salary because that is where we'll see we need to use dollar signs. Now I always type a formula in the cell in which I want the answer. So I'm going to click in cell H15 and I'll say equal VLOOKUP the V stands for vertical. It's going to look up that, those situations vertically. I open a bracket and then I say I want to type a name in G15. So I can click in G15 or I could have typed G15 in the formula followed by a comma. Excel is trying to help me along the way. It's saying the next argument in the formula is the table array. An array is simply a set of data and the array is in that area there. It holds all of the information. We don't select the headings, we don't need the headings, but we do select the data in the, uh, in the worksheet. Then we type a comma. Then we say, what is the column index number? See, Excel's trying to help me down here. And the column index number is one of these numbers here. It is in this case the number 2 because the answer that is the boat sales is in the second column counting from the left. So now you know that secret. Column 2 followed by a comma and then we use the word false because the word false says to Excel stop at the first exact match that you find for the name that you're going to type in here. Now I'll press enter and uh, there is uh, of course an error message there because I haven't uh, typed a name here but we're going to check 
Sue's boat sails. Sue. There are 12 boat sails for Sue. Let's check Mary. Mary has 36. So we know that we are getting the correct results here. Uh, just to uh, show you something else that you need to be careful of, when you're checking for uh, a result, make sure that the word you're checking for does appear here. It needs to be typed in exactly. So if you type in Marie instead of Mary, an error message pops up because there is no Marie in that particular area. Now I'm going to delete Mary so we, uh, we, we, we don't have any result here but I'm going to explain now why we use the word false. So in this uh, cell we have a new we have a new employee also called David and David at this stage has sold 10 boats he was born on the 12th of March 1998 and he works in the Eastern Division and he's been started on a salary of $32,000. Now we just need to format that cell because you can see that uh, all the others are dollars so we'll go to the format English Australia not quite wide enough so we'll widen it and it wasn't wide enough because there were two decimal points which I'll remove so we're going to decrease the decimals in that cell so there we have a new person David as the sales manager I want to check this David's remembering that we have another one up here I want to check this David's results so I'm going to um, so I'm going to type David in here and let's see if his number 10 comes up no 39 comes up it's looking at the first exact match because the because the word formula uh, uh, false I'm sorry was used in the formula so what I need to do is to make sure that this David has uh, a, a unique identifier so we'll put we'll make him David 1 okay good now we can search for David 1 why did I get an error message well let's look at the formula because I added another row and column there or another row I see that in my formula it is only covering G4 to K10 so it's G4 now it must be to K11 so I need to change that to an 11 so remember that if you add uh, data unless you have already allowed for extra information by dragging through a number of blank cells when you selected a table array you will need to adjust the formula let's see what happens now there we are we've got the right answer so there's something that you must be aware of that if you add a row then you may well need to adjust the formula unless you have selected a whole heap of extra uh, columns and rows now what we're going to do is to not only see the boat sales but I want to see the birthdays the area in which persons work and their salaries and I can do that by copying the formula across which we'll do shortly but what I need to say to Excel is that I want the cell referred to in each of these formulas as G15 because if I copy the formula across using my uh, autofill button it's going to change the G15 to H15, I15, J15 etc. 
so I need to be very careful here and use the dollar signs which lock Excel to look at particular particular cells so I'm going to put a dollar sign in here and remember that the dollar sign locks Excel's uh, look at what cells are involved and I also need to lock it to here because I want to remain in the same matrix the same area for the answers this is one of those penny drop situations that if you think about it it makes sense if you're not sure how the dollar signs lock uh, uh, Excel's looking at a particular cell then it may well pay you to have a look at the um, uh, Excel for Absolute Beginners Part 7, the one before this one, because that will explain why. Now we can copy this this uh, across. And why do we get the incorrect answers? Well, what it's done, it's copied the number 2 all the way. The birthday is actually in cell number 3. In, in column number 3, I'm sorry the area will come back and adjust that later the area is in row 4 and the salary is in row 5 so now we have our formula working correctly except for this one here it's shown uh, the incorrect format so I'm going to right click on there format cells we'll look at the date and we go to the short date OK and there we are now we should see that uh, David 1 this chap here boat sales are 10 his birthday 12th of March 98 he works in the East on a salary of 32,000 let's check Tom to make sure that our formulas are working correctly Tom and there we are 25 boat sales birthday 25th of November works in the North and salary. So bear in mind that VLOOKUP where you want multiple information in cells uh, means that we have to as per the checklist use dollar signs where we are looking up multiple columns. That's the main trick in Excel to use the dollar signs where you want more than one piece of information. One more check now we'll check our friend Sue she should come up with 12, correct birthday, correct area and correct salary. Remember ladies and gents that practice is the name of the game. This particular upload has taken you one rung further up the Excel ladder. You are no longer an absolute beginner because you're starting to learn some of the more powerful features within Excel and certainly with VLOOKUP there is no limit to the size of the information that you can be checking it might go down a hundred, a thousand rows or more but it works in exactly the same way thank you so much for watching you can download this file for practice sake uh, from the description uh, the, the address in the description below the, the, uh, the, the video itself thank you so much for watching again see you next time bye for now